Fernway, a German word that describes best what we're all about. Its literal translation is aching for distant places. We are a German-American family that met traveling and has kept that passion alive ever since. We are the Fernway family. We just got to Iceland. First stop, waterfall. This is Seljalandsfoss. Make sure to not just bring, but also wear your rain gear. We saw this time and time again. People in t-shirts by the waterfall running the other way. Let's go. It might seem sunny and even warm in the parking lot, but as soon as you get close to this or any other waterfall, there's going to be a lot of mist in the air. Glacial water mist. Sounds nice, right? Hey, that's the spot Justin Bieber was standing in his I'll Show You music video. Though he didn't get nowhere near as wet as we did. Oh my God. So this is THE waterfall that has been taking over my Instagram feed for quite some time now. You know, the one you can walk behind and to this cave formation, that's Cellulans Foss. And yes, you better get used to me butchering these Icelandic words over the course of the next few videos. So you remember me mentioning the water in the air? Yeah, it doesn't stay there. It eventually does end up on the ground and you want to bring some proper hiking shoes. It's a big waterfall. It's not in the middle, it's a big waterfall. It's time to evacuate the premises before someone here's live called the 60 meter colossus a little waterfall. We're heading to what's going to be our base for the next few days. The incredibly beautiful, picturesque, scenic, you get the gist, small town of Vic. Wait for it, wait for it. That's what I'm talking about. I present to you our Airbnb slash headquarters. I like to call it Air Quarters. TM. No, we don't need that much space for just the three of us. We're traveling with Tara's parents, brother and girlfriend, all of whom I'm going to introduce throughout the next few episodes. Wow, what a cool place. I really love this whole Icelandic style of tons and tons of wood everything smells like a sauna because it's baking in here and it's it just it feels right Love it. and then there's the volcanic black sand beach two minutes walking distance away i mean it sounds like something out of a flintstones brochure perfect to enjoy one's morning coffee at uh, you got me and fly the drone but today we're going somewhere even more special We've never seen icebergs, and to the far southeast of Iceland, there's a place called the Glacier Lagoon. And like the name says, it's a lagoon, very unlike that of the movie The Beach featuring Leonardo DiCaprio, but very much unlike another one of his feature films. In short, it's a lagoon full of, yes you guessed it, icebergs. We just got to the Glacier Lagoon where we're gonna do a boat ride, and it's packed. There's this massive parking lot, tons of people but the lagoon itself looks absolutely stunning. That is what you think it is, an amphibious craft. The local company offering this excursion is called Yuxalon or Glacier Lagoon. We paid 5,700 Icelandic krona or $46 US per adult and it was well worth it. If you decide to do this, make sure to check out their website and to book this way ahead of time. When we tried to reserve our seats, it was booked up many weeks out. Link in the description. The Glacier Bay first started forming as recently as 1934, when Brydam, uh, I'm just going to put it on the screen, started to retreat due to global warming. Which is part of Iceland's and Europe's largest glacier by volume, Vatnajökull. This is a beautiful and equally terrifying visualization of our impact on this planet in such a short amount of time. And a rather humbling experience.
So hello, welcome to Yoga Flown. My name is Pali. The guide we've had was very knowledgeable and pulled out a chunk of iceberg, which after some touching and some chiseling turned into a taste testing, which Liv really enjoyed. That was fun. 1,000 year old ice. Something like that. Yeah, it's not uncommon for Tara to just pull out the camera in mid-conversation. Well, check out our Instagram. Let us know in the comments if you know what she's so excited about. Time for a quick, epic Iceland family picture. We just got off the boat and now we're off to Diamond Beach. Right next to the lagoon on the ocean side lies Diamond Beach. This place is a real gem. See what I did there? But seriously, the iceberg chunks leaving the lagoon are being washed up here making the ice a spectacular sight with the black sand beach as their backdrop. This is an ever-changing setting and can and will be totally different from hour to hour. Might be worth sticking around in case you're there during a lull. Perfect. Are you going to show me what you got? Sind deine Hände dreckig? Ja. These black sand beaches are a typical sight here in Iceland. The sand consists of tiny fragments of basalt, which is created when iron and magnesium rich lava rapidly cools. For example, gets in contact with water. The vast moss-covered lava field of Eldraun. This is the world's biggest lava flow. It spans an enormous 565 square kilometers. That is three times the size of the country of Liechtenstein. The Laki eruption causing the stream lasted from 1783 to 1784, which led to 20% of the human population of Iceland to perish. Get this, some historians speculate that the volcano's fallout that created ash to drop and sunlight to be blocked by the haze over Europe to having contributed to the French Revolution. One more fun fact, the Apollo 11 crew came here to train for the impending moonwalk. I guess you couldn't find a more out of this world landscape if you tried. Needless to say, this is also a must visit. We hope you've enjoyed this first video of our Iceland mini-series. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button and become part of the Firmware family. Also, don't be a stranger, say hi in the comments and don't hesitate to ask us anything about our trip. Tschüss! If you're new here, that means bye in German. I'll teach you how to order a beer in German next time. Why is no one else wearing waterproof pants?